Hello guys, today I will show you that any one of us can contribute to Laravel documentation. So if you see that something is missing or wrong in Laravel documentation, you don't need to shout that on Twitter or somewhere, you just contribute to the docs and make them better. There is a special public repository called GitHub Laravel Docs. And here are all the documentation files in markdown format. So all you need to do to change the documentation is contribute a pull request to that repository. And in this video, I will show you exactly how. And I have a few examples of my own pull requests that were merged into the docs. So first one, I suggested to not confuse guards and providers with roles and permissions. Because even on this channel, I saw a lot of comments that multi-auth is about guards instead of roles. So I suggested to add that to the docs. And then another example I found just inconsistency with factories. And I suggested to use count instead of times, although both method works well, it's just for consistency. And both pull requests were merged and now my footprint is in the docs. So if you want to do something like this, or if you want to just fix some typo in the repository, let's take a look at other pull requests. There are 6,000 closed pull requests. For example, this one, let's see files changed. All that was changed is just for correct grammar or syntax or sentence structure. So anything is acceptable for the changes if you provide the specific title, reason, and it would be useful to others. So let's try it out. And in this video, I will add a real pull request to the docs about migrations. On the page of documentation about running migrations and rolling them back, I see one command is not mentioned, which is pretty useful, which is migrate status. So you can check the status of your migrations, what was run, what's in what batch, and let's add that to the documentation. What do I do? I go to Laravel docs, I click fork, then it's creating my fork of the repository, which is Povilus Corrup docs and not Laravel docs. Okay, it's done. Then I clone it down to my computer. So I do git clone docs. Okay, then I open all the docs folder and I will use Sublime text for it. I use Sublime for non-coding some texting or some CSS changes. And let's open the file migrations.md, which is Markdown. And here you can do any changes. It's a Markdown language. If you don't know what Markdown is, please Google its pretty well-known standard. And I wanna scroll down to rolling back migrations. And then at the end of it, I want to add, so another section. Let's copy and paste, watch the syntax. It's better that you mimic the same styling, the same typography, the same structure of all the docs. So if there is a link, we should probably add a link. So migrate status. Then title should be check status of migrations, something like that. And then there's migrate status command. Okay, and behind the scenes, I've written all the texts. Also, I've changed that name URL because I saw that it should be a slug of the title. So drop all tables, migrate, and all the others. Roll back, migrate using. So you can see it's a slug from the title. So I fixed this. And let's try to make a pull request. So I go into my terminal, cd docs, git status. And I see there's one migration file changed, right? So I do git commit, check migration status, artisan command, something like this. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do git add, then git commit, and then git push. So it's pushing to my own repository, not to the official docs yet. It's successful. And now I go back to github.com, refresh here. And see, it says this branch is one commit ahead. And then you can do a pull request. And now we're trying to do a real pull request from Povilus Corrup Docs to Laravel Docs. The branches are pretty important, but in most of the cases, you'll probably change the latest version of the docs. So it's 8.x at the moment. So we click create pull request. Then you may or may not add some comment. I do suggest that you do add some comment for Taylor or for whoever is going to merge that. But in this case, it's pretty self-explanatory what I've added. And I think it doesn't need any more comments. And we do create a pull request. And that's it. Now Taylor or whoever is on Laravel team will get notified that this is my pull request. And it's in the list here. I should probably add it 8.x here. Can I do that still now? 
edit 8.x save so actually each repository has its own guidelines or rules what to do with pull requests so you should probably check the contribution docs but there we go we made a pull request real pull request to laravel docs repository and any of you can do the same thing and contribute to laravel docs actually you can contribute the same thing to laravel whatever repository it's all open source so you can contribute to the framework to laravel to docs to whatever and did you know that for example the framework if we go to github repository on the right hand side this is the number of contributors to the framework so it's not the framework of laravel team or taylor otwell personally there are thousands of people contributing to laravel daily i'm trying to contribute with the content part so on this youtube channel on twitter and courses but if i see something missing in the docs i will gladly contribute as well if you want to contribute to my mission of Laravel daily YouTube channel, you can check out one of three products that are on the screen right now. And by financially supporting one of those three products, you support me and my time that I can spend daily to shoot free YouTube videos for you guys on this channel. See you guys in other videos.